So in this video we're going to be talking about braided line. It's a really popular question. We've been asked, yeah, again, a lot. I guess we'll start off with what braids we've actually experienced or used. YGK, Verabas, <laughs> Tough Line, Fins, Sunline, Monster Battle, and the PE Super. Uh, what else have we tried? The Jerry Brown, the Daiwa Sensor, the Daiwa Acudepth, Fireline, um, Power Pro, Tasline. Oh, another one we've used as well as the Suffix. And uh, what was the other one you've tried as well? The ATC. Uh, ATC, Salt Alliance, um, GT Popping Braid. You want the best braid you can afford because you're paying for what you get. So a stiffer, thicker braid's obviously going to be, for its breaking strain, it's going to be cheaper than a nice sort of softer, thinner braid. You know, when you're fishing land-based game, you you pretty much want minimum of 300 meters line on your reel. Like that's a minimum. I, I yeah. particularly fish with 500. I just like having 500 meters of line. That way yeah, you can yeah. fight the fish. You can go, you know, pretty heavy on it, but still light enough mm. to just let it run and not have to worry about pulling hooks, which you do with braid. That's another thing you gotta be careful of. It's really important to actually go to a tackle shop and look at all the braids and feel them in your hand. So you just get your head around this one costs this much and it's this thick, it feels like this. This one costs this much, it's really thin, feels really good, but that's probably why it costs so much. So you need to get like a basic understanding of the different prices and what you get for those prices. Some, well actually only one place we know of, they'll send you out a little card beforehand that you can get to feel the braid and get an idea of what it's like in your hand before you buy it. Some braids will say it's 40 pound and it actually breaks at 35 pound. Some like Tazline or I'm pretty sure Jerry Brown breaks above its. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And I know Fireline breaks way above its. Thing. 14 pound, I think, breaks at like 30 pounds. Yeah, so, yeah. But it's really stiff wire stuff, so I don't even yeah, use that. Yeah, that's under, yeah. 14, under 14 pound. Yeah, for yeah. super light stuff, light I guess it's alright. Yeah. So, what you need to do is you need to research, and if you're going to buy a certain type of braid that says 30 pound, mm. check that it's not actually 20 pound or check that it might be 50 pound for that thickness. So a bit of research obviously online so you don't go straight out and buy like something that's absolutely shit. Obviously ask in stores or forums, try to cut down the the massive selection to a few and then you can just go and try them yourself and if they work for you then stick with it. If you're on a big fish and you've got no confidence in, um, in your line, you're going to be like, just under so much pressure the whole fight and it's not comfortable and you're not that happy. Your line's what's connecting you to the fish. So I think it's almost the most important thing. So just make sure you spend the most you can afford on the best braid you can get. And you do that by doing research, getting in store, feeling the braids if you can. It's the thinness to the breaking strain. So I'm trying to get as thin as I can to the best breaking strain I can and making sure it's a solid quality line at the same time. So, you know, that means basically spending the most money you can on the best braid you can get. And be sure to subscribe here or go like our Facebook page Ew. for all thing. Yeah. Hashtag psycho. Let's go to the next thing. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, um, with, with anything in life, the spiritual tree, hummingbird. <laughs> oh, wait, I can see your aura, hold on. <laughs> She well, I'll try to range of different blades. Um, blades. Blades. <laughs> blades. <laughs> you can't look at it. Yeah, you can't, you can't look, look at it. Oh, that's, that's in my hand the whole time. Nah. Nah. Yeah, you gotta do that again. Oh, it's probably holding it shit in your face. In powder, if you've got a shitty powder board and you're just, um, catching the edge all the time, or especially on ice, you get hurt. So, with fishing, <laughs> <laughs> catching, catching a rat. Oh, get it again. <laughs> Oh, I gotta start again. Get back on there. Fuck, sorry, bro, sorry. No. You're done. Yeah, so it's confidence. Um, so with uh, fishing and any sort of sport... <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> right. I can just cop a lip to the head and hit the reef, whatever, or snowboarding down a hill. Um, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> snowboarding down a hill. You can just... You Someone was laughing though a little bit. Oh, Sam, was, I don't know. Oh, you can rewind it. No, I rewind it. You're the one in the call up. I think it was Camille. That's still hard. Yeah. Can't you crack your spool? Yeah, I know. That's what I thought. Like, they can bend the spools, but supposedly not. Well, that moustache gets it on there quicker, eh? <laughs>